Hello folks, Kyle here, Dark Dirty Outdoors. Hey, welcome back. Uh, today, I am at Allen Creek Lake. I'm gonna be uh, targeting muskies once again. It is Saturday, June 4th. Mostly gonna be trolling. It does seem that most of the fish have moved out into the open water. Uh, they're running around anywhere from about uh, 18 feet out to 32, 34 feet of water. Um, generally finding them down about uh, eight to 14 feet. So uh, trolling with deep diving cranks, that's gonna be the pattern today. Stay with me, hopefully we'll put a fish in the boat. Okay, it is time for my musky trolling tip. You know, I think often fishermen look at musky guys trolling around the lake and think that they're just driving around randomly. And that is usually not the case at all. Like most other fishermen, we are keen on structure. We often will troll the brake lines, the weed lines, underwater humps, uh, maybe a tree that is sunken and submerged, we're often keen on structure. And uh, just like people that cast for muskies, we often get muskies that follow our baits. The difference is that we can't see them following our baits. We almost have to anticipate or assume that we might have a follower. And one of the best ways to trigger that fish to bite is to do a turn, literally turn the boat. So my tip is for you musky fishermen, uh, think outside of the box. You know, if you're going down a long stretch of riprap, just immediately make a 90 degree turn right out into open water. Or if you're trolling open water keying on pods of bait fish, don't be afraid to head right straight toward a, you know, a long straight bank of riprap and then make that immediate 90 degree turn. It's a great way to trigger fish to bite and uh, here shortly, I'll show you a perfect example of that. Fish. I'm tired of dicking around up here. 
are beautiful. Long. Uh, 39. There we go, folks. Nice musky. I'm gonna let her go. This is the best part. Okay, folks, let's talk about uh, bait selection real quick. When I'm trolling, a lot of times what I use is a simple Rapala Super Shad Wrap. As you can see, that is a Rapala Super Shad Wrap. Now today, that is not the color I was using, but a good musky fisherman doesn't give away all his secrets. If you watch all the video, you could probably figure out the color I was using. But sometimes, that's all you need. Okay, folks, <laughs> I'm making uh, I'm making one last sweep up here toward the dam, and uh, and then I'm gonna head for the head for the dock. It is uh, it's getting hot out, and the uh, pleasure boaters are really getting fired up. As you see a jet ski going behind me there in the background. Uh, I put a muskie in a boat, uh, nice big fat. It's funny I was tuning in on YouTube to the JV Outdoors Bassamania tournament. I was in the chat and uh, saying hello, and then my rod went off. So <laughs> that was kind of cool. Uh, maybe that was a good luck charm there. I don't know. Um, nice, nice fish. Uh, tried and tried and tried. Did not, did not get another rip. That was the only bite I had. But hey, any day you can put a muskie in a boat is a real good day. And as always, thanks for watching.